my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing an on haul. Unhauling books are not easy for me because I get really, really attached to my books. I spend the money on them and even if I didn't enjoy it or I don't want to read it again, I'm still struggling with giving them away getting rid of them but i have quite a big pile that i have decided that i need to be strong and just find the books a new home so i will show you the books that i'm saying goodbye to and hopefully i will get them to this one charity shop not a really i don't know if it is a charity shop it's like a second hand shop where things can find their second home and yeah hopefully i will get them there because that is the idea i'm gonna ask around if my family wants maybe some of them if they are interested and the ones that i can find home i will bring there and hopefully they will take them because i don't need them i have books in latvian and books in english and then I have like unread books and read books in each pile. So I'm going to share the books I haven't read first and then the read books. I might give some reasoning why I'm getting rid of them. I might not. We'll see. So first I'm going to share the books in Latvian and then the ones in English. So yeah, let's just get through the books. First, I have three books that I haven't read that i just not interested in them anymore first i have this short story collection by latvian authors it's just a mix of like what 15 or something like that authors and a story by them that's it i don't know i have read few of these authors maybe maybe even some of the stories i'm not sure but yeah if i want to read stories i will find them elsewhere then i have this book i think i just took it from a somewhere where there were just books for free you can take them because no one wants them and i liked the cover and the title the title is nostalgia and sunset colors in latvian nostalgia saureta krasa and yeah it's just some short not even stories miniatures i think it's said somewhere yes so yeah i just don't need it then i have fast food for the soul by barbara Berger. it's a non-fiction i was given it as a gift by i don't even know who i just know it wasn't my family but i got it somewhere at least i remember something like that but yeah it is about how to live your life more efficient effectively whatever the word is i don't know but yeah i'm just not a non-fiction kind of self-help kind of girl so yeah not really interested in this one next the books i have actually read either i didn't enjoy them or i'm just not interested in keeping them or other reasons so I have Triftatke Ladies by Gunita Krilova. I read it. It was okay read. I don't remember much. I think it was about three friends and they kind of stuck in, like in their life, feel stuck for different reasons. And yeah, I read it. I'm not interested in keeping it and reading it again. So goodbye. Then I have Motion Oslapums by Leah Bridaka or the secret of a lifetime and this was about a woman who is hiding something about her daughter and when we got to the end it was so anticlimactic it didn't resolve anything and i felt really disappointed by the ending so yeah um i don't want it anymore next i have saturday Sibyl by my Lokmane. i don't know how to translate the title on the spot but this is a ya uh short story about 
a school and a girl who goes to school and friendship and things like that i enjoyed it i like that it had illustrations so yeah i really like it where when there are illustrations in books so but i don't want to keep it i'm not gonna reread really it i better give it to someone who's more interested in reading it then i have zelta boo reads by my michael or golden cage this was a crime it is about the second in a series i haven't read the first one about this detective who's solving cases it was interesting i really enjoyed it because the start of this book was really interesting it started with a woman being drugged in a mental institution and of course it somehow was involved with the murder in the book so yeah uh, it was really interesting but i need space on my shelves next i have jailbird by court van de good i don't even remember if i enjoyed it or not but i'm just not interested in keeping it it was about a man who went to jail for some reason i don't remember why and he's telling his story how he got to the jail what happened there and when he came out i don't even remember but yeah not interested in it anymore then i have sixth key by adriana colias this was really interesting because it's like dan brown kind of thing where there is this past mystery past some kind of a legend or a myth or something that people are people are running after so i really like those kind of things but the ending the ending was so disappointing <laughs> i hated it how it ended when where it left off like the resolution of all it all of it uh, i just i didn't like it so yeah i enjoyed most of the book but yeah for the ending bye then i have all quiet on a western front by eric maria remark don't know how to say his name but this is about second world war no first world war so yeah it's from a soldier's perspective and that's what i don't like a book completely from a soldier's perspective is not for me even though i can appreciate it and i can say that this one is a good one it's a good book i didn't particularly enjoy the perspective even though i can appreciate it so yeah and i did not really like this cover if i had a prettier edition i probably would keep it because i like historical fictions but yeah i don't like this edition next i have two books that i'm getting rid of because i have duplicates for these the first one is beloved by tony morrison i had a whole thing happening last year where i tried to get this one and i bought a hardcover edition when this arrived and this one is definitely not a hardcover then later on i got the hardcover so i'm getting rid of this paperback it is like really stiff it is has really small writing so that's the only reason i'm getting rid of because this book was really good i really enjoyed it last year so yeah i don't need a duplicate copy and then also i have a duplicate copy of the witches of ria by linda nemir i read this one i like this one my one of my favorite writers definitely one of my favorite latvian authors so yeah i'm giving this book to my sister i have a signed copy this is the unsigned that i got it as a gift for christmas like secret santa bookish kind of thing so yeah i don't need duplicates and my sister will definitely appreciate it and enjoy it now the books that i have in english first i have some classics i have the scarlet letter by nathaniel hawthorne i tried to read this one and i read the first page a couple of times i didn't understand what was going on 
but that was years ago maybe it would go better this time but at this point i'm just not interested in reading this one anymore and i'm getting rid of it i don't need it then i have two books by jane austen i have sense and sensibility and pride and prejudice i have read most of the austen books but i have read them in latvian and when it comes to classics i struggle with the language in them if they are originally in english because that the only other language i can read it so i prefer reading translations of classics definitely and yeah i don't need these little editions because if i want to read them i will find either in latvian or i have ebooks on kindle for a lot of classics and i'm pretty sure i have all austin books on there too and the last classic I have, I have Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. I have read Oliver Twist really long time ago when I was still in school and I really liked it. I really enjoyed that book. And then I don't remember when I bought this one in English, but yeah, I just don't feel like I'm gonna ever read it because I've had it for like, I don't know what, 10 years maybe might be that I have this one for about 10 years so I haven't picked it up and reread it so I'm getting rid of it. Next I have Friendship Poems. This is a collection of poems about friendship and yeah I read it, didn't really enjoy it that much but yeah I'm just getting rid of it. It's just not gonna get reread. Next I have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I read this one last year I think I enjoyed it a bit, but there were some things that I really didn't like. So, yeah, I'm not gonna reread it. I already have a person who wants to take this one, so yeah. It will be read and maybe loved more by someone else because it wasn't for me. Next, I have Life in Motion, an unlikely ballerina by Misty Copeland. This is an autobiographical book and it is about Misty. And the reason I'm getting rid of it because I didn't enjoy it. And I didn't enjoy it because of how it was written, like the tone of the writing. I hated it, but I liked learning more about her childhood, about her struggles as a black woman because ballet is kind of racist. Now I think probably it's getting better, but yeah, she had some struggles to go through and I really enjoyed learning about her more. But yeah, the writing style didn't mesh with me. Next, I have Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. This is a collection of essays by the author. And yeah, I didn't like really, really enjoy it. It was just an okay read and there were essays that I enjoyed but I mostly struggled with connecting with the American culture where the author describes things that are like really American because it's not my thinking style like I see world differently than a lot of people in this book and like TV shows and movies she's talking about, a lot of them, I don't even know what they are. Of course, I can look up, but yeah, that's just something. <laughs> then I have How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Candy. I read this one like two years ago. It was interesting read. I learned some new things, but... It was hard for me to read it because of the language, because of the academic, I think, writing style. Because there were a lot of words that I didn't understand and that kind of, like, it's not easy to read books like that, where you have to translate a lot of things. So, yeah, but there definitely were things that were really interesting but i will not reread this one so yeah i'm just giving it away next i have dear lucy by julie sarkissian and 
this book I DNF'd last year. And DNFing is something I don't do either. <laughs> like with Anna Hoss, I struggle with DNFing books. But yeah, I just read, I don't know how many pages did I read, but I just didn't like how it was written. The I didn't connect with the characters, didn't feel for any of the characters, so I just decided that no, I'm not gonna read it. I had this book for a really long time on my shelves. I bought it because of the cover, but no. I'm just not gonna read it. Then I have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I remember that I read this one on my trip to Italy. I remember being in a hotel room and reading this one. But yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know, it wasn't the right time for me of reading or because I was on a trip and I didn't have a lot of time to read. So it kind of took a really long time because I didn't read the whole book on a trip. I started it and then I finished it like over a month later, I think. So yeah, I just don't have good memories with this one, so I'm not gonna keep it. And the last book I'm getting rid of because it's a duplicate copy. This actually is my copy that I'm keeping, but I'm, I can show you because the other copy is already with my sister. I gave it to her. This was a gift from Olivia and there was a mishap with the delivery and they sent the second copy and then eventually the both copies arrived so yeah i have two of these this is a witchy story about a town where there are witches i think <laughs> something but yeah i really like the cover but yeah i don't need duplicate copies so that's it. Yeah, this is it for down haul. I'm unhauling 25 books. Can you imagine? And I don't know how many books did I have on my last unhaul, but definitely a lot less. Because, yeah. And I think my last unhaul was about a year ago, more than a year ago. So I'm happy, but I just need to get them out of my house so I don't see them. And, yeah. Hopefully I will do that soon because I have, I still have books from my first unhaul still sitting at my home and taking up, up space. So yeah, this is it. Please let me know. How are you with unhauls? How regularly do you get rid of books? Do you get rid of only red books or unread books too? What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments down below. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I see you in the next one. Bye!